Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy PEMF, also known as Low Field Magnetic Simulation, uses electromagnetic fields in an attempt to heal non-fractures and depressions. In addition, PEMF therapy improves sleep, mental focus and the body's overall performance by helping the energy output and regeneration of the body's cells. Commercial such devices are sold at a price of several hundred to thousands of dollars, so, so my goal is to make the simple to build and functional device available to more people who can not afford it. Uh, this time I will show you a simplest way to make a PEMF device which gives a magnetic flux density of about 10 to 15 Gauss. The device consists of several components. Uh, ZK PP2K high power PM PWM driver module. Uh, next uh, 12 to 19 uh, volts power supply unit. Uh, some type of connectors which the coil would be connected and the ther therape therapeutic coil. The heart of the device is this small module ZK PP2K which can be purchased from less than five dollars. This small package contains a power output transistor so that the coil is connected directly to it. All we have to do is connect a 12 to 19 volts uh, power supply with a power of 50 watts or more. Uh, this means that can be used power supply from an old PC, 12 volts, or for example a 19 volt uh, laptop power supply. We need to pay attention uh, when making the coil because the normal operation uh, of the device depends uh, of coil. For example, I will introduce you to the dimensions and characteristics of two coils which I use with this device. Uh, the first is the simplest example and is actually the primary winding of an E-type transformer with power of 150 watts, to which the metal core has been removed. It consists of approximately 400 windings of copper insulated wire with a diameter of 0.4 mm. Its ohmic resistance is 16 ohms and its inductance is 10 millihenry. Uh, the next coil was made by me uh, and has a diameter of 17 centimeters contain 180 windings of insulated copper wire with a diameter of 0.45 mm. Its ohmic resistance is 12 ohms and the inductance is about 5 millihenry. In any case, the construction of the coil is not critical as long as we adhere to the rule that its ohmic resistance is greater than the minimum as stated above. And now, and now let's see how the device works in reality. Based on the instruction of many manufacturers of such devices, this frequency should be in range of 4 to 30 Hz and duty cycle with a value of 5% to 15%. In this case, frequency is 13 Hz and duty cycle of 10%. and now with bigger coil.
The following is a brief description of how this device is made. 